I'm an old Christian. Been around since the 60s, lived through the 60s, the 70s, up into the up into the 2020s. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, I've read the Bible through eight, nine times, studied it for a couple of decades. And, um, you know, back in the 60s, the big problem was, in the 70s, big problem was protesting against the war. The Vietnam War, we didn't, we didn't think that people ought to be protesting. And, you know, there were those of us that were in church, those of us that were hippies out, outside the church. And, you got a little mixed up there in the process, and that was a good thing, actually. Now, um, now, homosexuality, transgenderism, that's that's the thing, and it 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 leaves the the old Christian wondering, what does the Bible say about it? Can the can the gay man be saved? Basically, can the transgender be saved? Now, everybody, Christian and otherwise, would say. Yes, absolutely they can be. Anybody can be saved. God came for everybody. All right? But let's, let's dig in a little bit. Um, pro, excuse me. Romans 10.9 says that if you believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, there are, there are conditions to being saved. And it seems like that's it. And it makes sense because we've all heard Faith alone, not by works, but faith alone. And some of us would say, yeah, but um, you've got to repent too. Now where this comes from, what the Bible says about that, is that if you are saved, you will show repentance, signs of repentance. Now that repentance doesn't mean that you stop sinning, all right? Repentance means that you want to stop sinning in basic terms. And then you begin to stop sinning, and you, you work on that stopping sinning. That's a little awkward. But anyway, throughout your life, and that's called sanctification. All right, some sin you will stop right away. When you're saved and you repent, some sin will stop right away. Some say that you repent afterwards. Some say you repent as a result of your salvation. Some say you repent at the time of salvation. Now, what occurred with me... 21 years ago, was I repented. I wanted to stop sinning as soon as I was saved. All right? Like I said, repentance means you want to stop sinning. So can a homosexual do that? Well, absolutely. Everybody can be saved. Everybody, let me qualify that. Everybody can believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. Basically, you believe in a resurrection. Will a homosexual repent? Well, I believe that if he is saved, he will repent. Will the homosexual stop being homosexual? Probably not. All right. Any more than I stopped lusting after women, um, and I stopped anything else. I have great sin in my life now. Now, some of you are saying, "No, the homosexual's got to stop being homosexual." Well, let me let's look at this verse, another Bible verse, Proverbs sixteen five. Go ahead and look that up. All right. Proverbs 16.5. What that says is, the arrogant man is an abomination in God's eyes. Okay, it doesn't say that arrogance is a sin. It says the arrogant man is an abomination. Another translation, I think the G&T translation, I, I think, it says that God hates the arrogant man. Other verses other translations say that God hates the prideful man. The prideful man is an abomination. He will not go unpunished. And what that says is not that arrogance is a sin. It says that God hates the arrogant man. It doesn't say that about homosexual. God does not hate homosexuals. God does not hate transgender people. Transsexuals, excuse me. God does not hate transsexual people. It doesn't say that. It does say God hates the arrogant man. Now, if you're still wondering, let's look at a let's look at a current example. 2023 example today. You know any arrogant people? I know one. I know one who used to be a president. He is a very, very arrogant man. Do we believe that he is saved? Uh, as Christians. Most Christians, 
Most Christians would say, yes, he is saved. I don't know. I don't know if my preacher is saved. It's between God and him. And it's, of course, so about, it's of course about Scripture as well. Nonetheless, he's an arrogant man. Has he repented? Does he want to stop being arrogant? How would I know? Maybe so. Maybe he, maybe he hates his arrogance. Just like God does. I take that back. God doesn't hate arrogance. God hates Donald Trump is what God hates. God hates the arrogant man. Has Donald stopped being arrogant? Absolutely not. He, in fact, gets better at his arrogance. Once again, do we believe that this man sent to us from God is saved? Well, yeah. Yeah, we do. We state that every day. Let me ask you again. Can the arrogant man be saved? Can the transsexual be saved? The answer is yes.